Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the News 8 Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Tuesday. The Calhoun County Public Health Department on Monday announced that a mosquito in the area had recently tested positive for Jamestown Canyon virus, and they are warning residents to take extra precautions this summer to make sure that they know how to deal with these types of bug bites throughout the season. And joining us today to really explain what the virus is and ways for us to help mitigate the spread of any potential infection is Eric Pestel. He is the health officer over at the Calhoun County Public Health Department. Eric, thank you so much for stopping by today. Hey, good to see you, Phil. Yeah, now first things first, obviously, I wanted to just touch on what Jamestown Canyon virus is. I know when you guys sent out that alert yesterday, I had a lot of questions. I, it wasn't really something I was that familiar with, and I'm sure I'm not alone with everybody watching and tuning in today. They probably have a lot of questions as well. So first things first for you, Eric, what exactly is Jamestown Canyon virus? Well, it's it's another virus that uh, that mosquitoes are carrying. Uh, it's found throughout the United States. It's been found a lot more recently in the Midwest. And uh, we've seen it here in Michigan now for the last, I would say, several years, um, uh, typically over on the east side of the state, Saginaw Bay Area. Um, but uh, you know, as we reported, we found we found one here that was carrying the virus. And, and so we wanted to get the information out to help people protect themselves. And uh, just wanted to kind of go over just some of the things that people should be kind of keeping an eye on. I mean, the impacts from this virus, uh, Eric, you know, they can sh uh, range from people really not even noticing any change at all to some people even getting meningitis from this virus. I mean, talk about just some of the impacts and some of the symptoms that are associated with this virus in case somebody starts maybe not feeling so well, something for them to kind of keep an eye on and maybe monitor a little bit when it does come to possibly being exposed to a virus like this. Yeah, thanks for that question. I think first and foremost, uh, any mosquito virus that we have, we've heard of West Nile, we've heard of Eastern Equine or Triple E, um, you know, now this uh, Jamestown Canyon. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to try to avoid being bit by mosquitoes. And, you know, how do we do that? Well, now that it's really hot out, uh, the only time people will uh, really enjoy the outdoors is either, you know, early in the morning or later in the evening. And that's, of course, the time that mosquitoes are going to come out um, at, at the greatest amount. You know, we've all sat around the campfire before and made sure that we had the bug spray. So first and foremost, you try to avoid those times of day, either early morning or uh, in the evening. Um, if you can't, if you need to be outdoors for whatever reason, um, then you can use DEET. Uh, make sure you're using bug spray, wear long sleeves, wear, wear long pants. Those types of things can protect you. Um, looking for breeding areas around your house. If you have any type of standing water, sometimes bird baths or uh, tires, tire swing that doesn't have a hole draining the water out of it. Those are all locations where mosquitoes can uh, breed and lay their eggs. And we want to try to avoid those um, as much as possible. Um, symptoms typically, uh, like you said, um, uh, many people won't even have a symptom of Jamestown Canyon um, or West Nile or any of the other viruses. But um, the typical symptom, if you do get it, uh, would be a fever, fatigue, uh, maybe a headache. Uh, and then in those rare cases, it can be really serious where you're talking encephalitis or meningitis. So um, if you feel like you have those symptoms and you've been exposed and bitten by mosquitoes, it's certainly you'd want to see your doctor, uh, your provider, and let them know that, uh, you know, you may you know, have been bitten by a mosquito and, and they can test you out. And Eric, that was going to be kind of my next question. You know, for somebody that maybe feels like they might have been exposed or maybe just doesn't feel good after p potentially of being bit by a mosquito, I mean, what really are those next steps of action? You mentioned going to the doctor, but what might be sort of what they tell them as far as treatment goes, as far as, you know, kind of staying out, out of the, staying inside and kind of resting? Is that kind of going to be the normal treatment probably associated with this? Yeah, I would let a doctor respond to that. I'm not, I'm not a medical doctor, so I would let a doctor respond to the typical treatment. But um, you know, as far as what they would have somebody do, um, I really can't answer that. Right. Okay. All right. Well, Eric, you know, again, we really do appreciate you stopping by and really helping 
you know, take in all this information and really learning a little bit more, not only about the virus, but just things for people to kind of keep in mind throughout the summer months. And I got to ask, you know, you gave a couple of really good uh, tips for people to maybe avoid potential mosquito bites. You said it yourself that that is probably the number one tip you can offer for people who might be worried about this is to just flat out be avoiding mosquito bites. But that's not always as easy as it sounds. You touched on obviously wearing bug spray and long sleeves and um, avoiding as much outdoor time as you possibly can out and outside. But uh, is there anything else that maybe you want people to know about? Maybe another tip that we really aren't considering or you don't really see too often people kind of performing? Um, you know, I, when I say standing water around your house, we've seen mosquitoes can can reproduce and lay their eggs in a in a bottle cap that's full of water. You know, so it's not just large areas of water around your home or in the park. It could be something as small as a bottle cap. So really paying attention to those areas where mosquitoes breed um, is is one thing you can do uh, for yourself. And then, you know, there's there's really not too many other, other things you can do to avoid mosquito bites other than what we've already talked about. Um, I do think that with the with the recent rain that we've had, we are seeing our mosquitoes are out in much larger numbers right now. So, you know, as the summer goes longer and it maybe dries up a little more, we might see the mosquito population decline some. But, um, you know, the fact is that we we have the virus. We now know we have the virus in our mosquito population. We're continuing to test for Triple E. We're continuing to test for the West Nile virus. Um, but we now know we have Jamestown. So it's just another good reminder for all of us um, of how to protect yourself and what you need to do to avoid uh, being bitten. And uh, of course, like we said, if you are bitten, if you are experiencing symptoms, go see your doctor. Absolutely. All right. Well, Eric, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do want to remind everybody watching that if you would like to know a little bit more background behind the Jamestown Canyon virus or other uh, helpful tips courtesy of the Calhoun County Public Health Department, well, you can find all of that information right now over on our website.